is technical and it is hard work. Boy, I better be committed to finish this because uh, I can come up, I think. Okay, that looks bad. Well, that looks bad. <laughs> I have to go back. Oh, oh well. Hopefully that's the worst. I hope that's the worst. Oh man, that was hard. Is Pine Mountain a trail for you? Let's find out. Welcome to the Bay Area Dirt Biking Channel. Pine Mountain, another must-ride trail at Pozo along with Burnout and Las Chiches. This one being the longest, 7 miles from the start to end, and the highest, getting up to 3,600 feet of elevation. In fact, Pine Mountain itself is visible from many areas at Pozo once you learn how to recognize it. Just look south and look for the tall mountain with pine trees along its top. Despite being classified as a black diamond trail in what you saw in the intro of this video, the question is not, can you ride Pine Mountain, but what parts of Pine Mountain are right for your skill level? Let me explain. Pine Mountain, also known as Trail 8, can be divided into four segments. The first segment, starting from the east entrance, consists of a dirt road with a gradual climb, which any rider who managed to get to the entrance should be able to ride. As with most dirt roads and trails in this park, the ride along this initial segment is very scenic, as you can see. After about one and three quarter miles, you will reach the entrance to a hiking trail on your left, and from there on, the road will become narrower and more rugged. This is where the second segment begins, and you will continue climbing Pine Mountain for about two and a half miles to its highest elevation of about 3,600 feet. This second segment is full of technical sections due to the uneven, hard, rocky surface of the trail, which advanced riders will probably enjoy, but an intermediate rider might find it hard work and possibly very difficult. Once you reach the highest elevation, which will become obvious, you'll start the descent on the west side of the mountain for about one and a quarter miles, defining the third segment, which will lead you to the famous stir step section. This third segment is the most technical and difficult segment of Pine Mountain, and in my opinion, best suited for advanced riders, especially the stir step section. This section is about 150 meters long and it is highly technical, especially the very last portion, which might be intimidating for a first time visitor riding alone. But even if you decide not to ride stair steps, you need to be aware that there are a couple of tough sections you will need to ride on your way back as I show you in the introduction. The fourth and last segment after stair steps is a bit of a hybrid between a dirt road and some of the uneven hard rocky surface of the second segment, but not as difficult. So in my opinion this fourth segment is well suited for an immediate rider willing to ride it starting from the west entrance. This brings me to the last and most important point I want to make regarding riding Pine Mountain for the first time. If you're considering riding the stair step section but still undecided, Go to the west entrance first and ride to the bottom of stair steps to check it out and make sure that you're going to ride it all the way down. If you're not, make use of the information and video footage presented here to decide how far you want to ride Pine Mountain from its east entrance. And if you decide that you're going to ride the trail all the way at least to the entrance of stair steps, step, you might want to test your skills on the way back to the east entrance by riding Las Chichas Cutoff. This is another challenging black diamond trail at Pozo, 
but not horrible when writing it down in the eastbound direction. Hey, if you're finding this information useful, press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. In the rest of this video, I will show you most of the Pine Mountain trails starting with the second segment all the way to the entrance to Stair Step. Enjoy it!